What's up, everybody? It's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, back with another video. Like always, today it's gonna be a requested video on how to collaborate and track out your beats for if you're gonna partner up with somebody and you know collaborate on the beat, or if you're just sending out track out files for a client who really wants them. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Very easy steps, very simple. No, it's not gonna be a flashy video, but hopefully it will help you guys out. So first thing first, y'all. I'm just gonna you know I got a beat. You know y'all know what beat is the intro beat. <laughs> Nothing special there. So, uh, so make sure that there's two ways to do it. Now you can either track it out to where you're gonna collaborate with somebody, or track it out because you're gonna send it off to an artist who won't track it fast. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, for one, if you're doing it with a partner, sending them the FFP does not always work because sometimes they don't have the sounds you have. They might be in a different DAW, or they just you know there's a bunch of factors going to it. By tracking it out, they will have all the sounds you used and they will be able to add their sounds in there with no problem and it'll be less CPU usage on their end also. Now for artists, artists like track out files because they can blend their vocals into the beat a whole lot better. And I think that's something really good. Like I said, it's not, it's one of the things that if you do do that, I would definitely charge a premium for. Like I used to do my track outs for about um, 80 bucks because you know, you get you get in the whole beat. They can rearrange it. They can take certain parts out. They can, you know, pretty much change the beat up and arrange it the way they like it. They like a part to come in earlier or later. They can do all kinds of stuff. And also it gives them a better ability, gives them the ability to mix it into the beat a lot better and make their vocal sound one with the beat, which is pretty good. Like, like see, I see a lot of people using it, but it's an option. You know, it's not one of the things you have to do, but I highly recommend people doing it just in case. So, into who? Let's get into this and show you guys how to do it. So first off, the main thing you want to make sure is you want to have your beat either done or your pattern already done the way you want to. You want to make sure everything is in its own mixer channel. So as you see, 1 through 13, they all have their own mixer channel. As you see here, they're all in their own channel. Add your effects, do your little panning, whatever. Do what you got to do. You can mix it or you cannot mix it. That's completely up to you. I'll leave that in, in your hands. So if you're going to um, have somebody else mix it, have somebody else do effects to it. You can leave it all dry. Or if you're going to do your little effects and do your little processes to it, go ahead and do it. That's up to you. Um, so, yeah. So, first, I'm going to show you guys how to track out a whole beat because that's probably one thing a lot of you guys are going to do. Now, um, once you have everything on mixer channel, you have it the way it is, you have it mixed or whatever, have it arranged the way you want to, the beat's done. You know, all you want to do is go to expert. Expert export did it again. Oh, uh, export go to WaveFab because we want to give them the best ability, like the best quality possible. Like we don't want to do MP3, we don't do 16 bit. Uh, if you can't, if you you don't have enough space or anything like that, and you have to send 16 bit, still do you can do 16 bit WaveFab, but I would ha highly recommend 24 bit because the best possible quality you can pretty much do. Um, you want to create a folder, so I already created a folder. Track out too. We will save all of our track outs to that one folder to send them all together. And then you want to save. Next, you want to make sure it's on full song because we're going to re render the full song for the artist. Um, you have WAV file, select it 24 bit. If you can't do 24, you can do 16. Um, don't do 32 bit float point because if I think if if you're a Logic user, if you're sending it to somebody who uses Logic, I don't think Logic can open 32 bit. So just don't do 32 bit for anybody. Just use 16 or 24 bit. And then you want to make sure this button right here in miscellaneous selected, which is split mixture channels. What that means is it's going to go through each individual channel and render out the complete channel by itself. So they have the whole the whole session rendered by itself in channels so they can do all their arranging and mixing and whatever they need to do. And then you just hit record or record. You hit start and it renders each individual channel. You zip it up. You upload to whatever website you're using for beats and go about your damn business. So... That's that. Easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Y'all know what it is. Now, if you're doing it for a artist or another, I mean, artist, but another producer, then same process, but you want to make sure you put everything, you have everything in one channel. As you can see, I have my one channel, I have all my individual channels for my arrangement. Um, so I have my pattern right here. I'm going to pretty much send this off to them. So, same thing, individual mixer channels, have your beats already arranged, mixed, whatever you want to do, blah, blah. Um, you know, that's up to you. You decide that yourself. Same process. You want to go to expert. God damn. You want to go to export. Go to wave file. Like I said, make your little folder like always. So, you know, make your folder. Save. Instead of full song mode, you want to have it on pattern mode. And that's just going to render this one pattern. So it's going to render pattern one, whatever pattern you have selected. So make sure you have this selected pattern that you're going to render. If it's on pattern two, you have it on there, it's just going to render that one pattern. So make sure it's on pattern one with all your stuff on it. 
And I said, same thing, 24-bit WAV file, and make sure you have split mixer channels done. Hit render. It's going to render just this pattern and render each individual part individually. That way, they can throw it in their DAW, and they can go ahead and start arranging it, uh, adding to it, and doing what they got to do to it, and pretty much making it a complete beat. And then you guys can decide who mixes it, who masters it, and blah, blah, blah. So... If you're doing that, and I highly recommend doing this if you want to collaborate with me, because like I said I'm mostly making most of my beats in Ableton now, so it just helps me out. Because like I said I don't have the same stuff. I mean, I'm not using a lot of studio stuff in FL Studio as I'm in Ableton, so make sure you have that sent to me so I can actually do that. And that's pretty much the whole process right there. Very simple, very easy, and it makes everybody's life a whole lot easier. Especially if you want to collaborate with people around the world or who use different DAW and stuff like that. It's a great way to help them out, you know, get your exposure out there and work with different people and just, you know, make good music. So that's one way I would recommend doing it. And like I said, it's what everybody does. So hopefully it helps you guys out. And also, if you want to collaborate with me, now you know how exactly I want you guys to send it to me. That way I can start collaborating doing these beats because I have a few I'm doing right now. So, you know, if you want to jump on that, you know, in my description below is my email. You can hit me up there, and we're going to start talking about that. So, yeah, with that being said, um, that's it. I mean, that's it. like I say, I will be doing one in Ableton Live very soon, but I'm doing, like, a basic video right now. So, um, it's be a little bit. So, hopefully, this guys helps you out. You start collaborating. You start sending them track ads. You start making that money, and it just helps you guys out in the long run. So, with that being said, you know who you know who it is. Your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different. Not motivated by money, but like, comment, subscribe, and views like always. And hey, hope you guys enjoy. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, everybody.